this is pretty cool. Hey guys, it's Ryan. A couple of weeks ago I did a video about shopping in the market. How many items can I get for a dollar in the market? This is kind of a follow-up to that. I'm comparing the grocery store to the market. Is it cheaper to shop in the market, like everyone says? Even for a gringo who can't speak Spanish that well? What is the price difference? We're gonna find all that out right now as we cruise this supermarket. Y'all don't know people like this. Y'all don't know people like this. Y'all don't know people like this. Okay, so right now I'm in one of the, probably the biggest grocery store I've ever been to in Ecuador. It's called Mega Maxi, and it's this big, huge chain. Uh, I think they have about 12 locations in Ecuador with the same company, Fabrita Cooperación, Cooperación Fabrita, I believe it's called. They also own Super Maxi, which is another huge chain. And they also own Aki, the Aki brand, which is another grocery store chain. So they're the biggest, so they have the biggest impact on the grocery store market. They actually opened the first ever grocery store in Ecuador, first ever like, self-serving grocery store, a typical grocery store that you would know. And you can see it's giant, and there's lots of good product there, and Western stuff too. Um, so a good place to shop if you're a Westerner, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Okay, I'm been circling around the produce department because it's pretty busy, but let's head into the produce department. Let's throw up what we bought at the market. I'm gonna try to get however many I can for a dollar, like I did in the last video. However, here it's charged by the weight more, so I'll probably just get the same number of items and then we'll compare it all. We'll bring it back to the itchy feet on the cheap headquarters and we'll do the comparisons there. All right, so let's do this. Let's uh, you know, drop a little beat here and uh, get a montage going or something. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hate this. I ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stomping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. Right inside a basement. Said it's 4 a.m. Still wear wavy tweaking bases. Learn this shit ourselves on my own time. I made shifts. Shooting for the moon. Gonna turn this Honda to a spaceship. Sure they won't fuck with me. I just won't get some rain and sleep. Shit, low free, yeah. Say what I want, then I get what I want. It's too easy, yeah, yeah. Baby, you know I'm a G. I gotta double them C's. She wanna put it on me. Used to sit inside my room, living through some interviews. Told my ass about a school, I knew I had to make some moves. Got that pressure on me, turn anxiety to diamonds. Demons make it harder, close my eyelids. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hate us That ended with life when I say shit Now I'm inside all them people's playlists So one day I'll be stomping on those stages But right now we just dancing in the basement Ha 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 I'm rich in fruit <laughs> So I'm back from the grocery store and I got a nice collection of food and I've got all the prices broken down so it's time to compare market versus grocery store. Got everything in a little list here. So for the yellow chilies, this is a specific kind of chili. I should mention that it is a yellow chili because they're more expensive than just the regular chilies here. At the market I got five for a dollar, so 20 cents each and at the grocery store they were selling them in packets of four for $1.74, so about 43 cents each, or more than double the price. The eggs at the market were 10 cents each. Now I got the smallest ones, which were the, also the cheapest ones, obviously, and then there was a 11 cents, a 12 cents, a 13 cents one or something. I could only find medium sized at the grocery store, and they were $1.81 for 12, which puts them at about 15 cents each. If I bought the medium ones at the market, I think they were 11 or 12 cents each. So pretty close, but definitely cheaper, a little cheaper at the market. And you could also buy as many as you want. You didn't have to buy a dozen. Passion fruit surprised me. 
four for a dollar six at the grocery store, and I had four for a dollar at the market. So just six cents more. And honestly, I feel like the quality of the passion fruit was a little bit better at the grocery store. There's a bee. What's a bee doing? Limes at the grocery store, I actually got them on sale. They were half price and they came out to about six cents each, which is the same as what I spent at the market. However, the market ones are a little bit different. They're a touch smaller. I think it's a better quality lime at the grocery store. I could have bought the same exact kind at the grocery store and they would have been even more money, but they were regular price, 12 cents each. So if I would have spent the full price, then it would have been twice as expensive. But I got the sale price and they're better quality limes, which is another positive for the grocery store. If you can hit a sale, you can get it for cheaper maybe, or you can just get a better quality item for the same price. Strawberries. Mm. So good. At the grocery store, they'll sell them in packs. And I'm not sure what the weight is on the pack, but they ended up being five cents each, a dollar nine for a pack of 22. At the market, they were four cents each. I got a couple more strawberries uh, for a little bit less money. Quality wise, I think it's pretty close. I thought maybe at first the market ones were better, but I'm eating these now and they're pretty good. Can't really complain. So a little bit cheaper at the market. The market you can probably also buy in different quantities. The grocery store, they just have small packs, medium packs, and large packs. Avocados, this was the biggest surprise. 56 cents for two avocados at the grocery store compared to a dollar for two at the market. Now the market ones were a little bit bigger. They're a different kind of avocado. Maybe, maybe they're a better quality, I'm not really sure. But I mean like almost half the price at the grocery store, that really surprised me. And they seem like pretty good quality avocados. I haven't tried them yet. The ones I bought at the market were fantastic, but I guess we'll see. Tomatoes, 12 for a dollar 80 at the grocery store and it was 12 for a dollar at the market. So you're saving, I don't know, almost half price, 15 cents each for a tomato at the grocery store and eight cents each at the market. Next up is mandarins and these surprised me again, 10 cents each, both the grocery store and the market. But I found the grocery store mandarins to be a little bit better quality. They're a bit bigger and they have a few less seeds. So that one, that one surprised me for sure. And moving on to bananas, which was difficult because the bananas I bought at the market, I couldn't find at the grocery store. The grocery store had the typical Cavendish bananas. The bananas, I guess these are, this is them. And the market, they had a whole bunch of different variety ones. The ones I got, I think are like Cavendish, but maybe smaller or younger. I'm not really sure, but the size difference was big. The ones at the grocery store were ready to go. I could eat them right away. These ones are not quite brown enough. You can see there's a little tinge of green in there. Um, just, I like them so they're, when they start to turn black, just when they're starting to get a little speckled. So they have those at the market. Tons of choice for bananas there. The grocery store, they really just sell this kind and they sell the, the green ones, which you just have, they're plantains, you gotta cook with them. So I had to play with the numbers a little bit and I found that the market bananas were about half price of these ones. So I don't know, that's not all that accurate because they are different bananas, but I just did, okay, well, these ones are about double the size. So I'll just uh, say that they're, I don't know. I don't know. And the market ones are better quality, I would say. Finally, we have red onions, and I got six red onions for $1.68 at the grocery store, and that equals 28 cents each. At the market, I got six for 10, no, what? Six for a dollar, 16 cents each. So you're saving, again, there almost half, yeah, almost half the price. Okay, to summarize, grocery store, good if you can hit a sale. Uh, sometimes the quality is better at the grocery store. I mean, it's hard to say for what, but I think that maybe if something is not in season, you can get it at the grocery store at a better quality than something locally grown because maybe they ship it in from some place where it is in season. On the other hand, the market, you're buying stuff local, which is always good. It's better for the environment. Most of the stuff at that market is probably grown within 100 kilometers, so that's a really good thing. The grocery store also has stuff that's packaged, which is obviously bad for the environment, but it's also bad because you can't really buy however many you want. At the market, I can say I need exactly three peppers. 
grocery store, maybe I have to buy a pack of four. The market also offers more variety, but at the same time, there's more of the same items. So does that make sense? It's, there's a thousand tomatoes at the market. There's a hundred at the grocery store, but they also have some other kind of tomato that they don't sell at the market because it's from a different country. You can also negotiate at the market, which is something you obviously can't do at the grocery store. I don't do much negotiating, but sometimes they'll say, oh, it's a dollar twenty-five or something, and I'll be like, I just got a dollar. Come on, just take a dollar. And they'll like, yeah, okay, fine. You can also try to get like an extra item. For example, if I'm buying 12 tomatoes and I need 13, but 12 is a dollar, just be like, one more, one more, and they'll give you another one probably. That's another advantage, but a better advantage in my opinion is the relationship you can develop with the vendors at the market. The market's a more fun experience, and it's just, it's more personal. And the money that you're spending is going to that person, maybe to some farmers, not so much to the giant chain that owns all the grocery stores almost in Ecuador. I'd much, much rather give my money to the local vendor. But of course, the biggest advantage to the market is the savings. I spent $10 at the market, and for the same items at the grocery store, it cost me $13.93. That's a big, big amount of money to save every grocery store trip, $4 for every $10. That's, that's huge. So definitely the market's the way to go as far as I'm concerned. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Mm, I was just going to say have a good time. I don't know. Make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell icon after you subscribe to get notified whenever I put a new video, which is once a week, sometimes twice a week. I'm a little erratic with that stuff. So that bell is super important. Yeah. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't want to hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm gonna go more. Fuck around and buy the home more. Breaking that cake. Flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't save. Look at my face. Look at my grace. Don't match up. No love. Look at me. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I gamble, I stop. Yeah. When I check the cost, I was like, Oh, that's expensive. I roll it flex in my ear.